Farmers were really badly daunted today. The fact that there was no meaningful relief for farmers, there was no meaningful relief for rural Ireland, the 700,000 homes that use home heating oil, there was nothing for them. And, you know, we, we have to get serious about this. And, 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 I, and I think, you know, John, uh, sorry, um, uh, John, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah. alluded to the fact that, uh, yeah. that um, Eamon Ryan was a bit out of touch today. Mm. And I think that there's something about this response of government that is a bit out of touch. There is a lack of recognition of what it means to be relying on oil to heat your home, to, to farm your land, to get yeah. in and out of work. I mean, John McGann, that's a very fair point, isn't it? Like, this isn't going to impact everybody in the same way. In areas where there's public transport, you can leave the car at home, that's fine. But in, in rural areas when, where you rely on your car, you rely on it for work, you rely on it if you're a farmer, and then you rely on it to heat your home, um, which is in a rural, rural area far away from other transport links, you're really going to be hit hard. And there was no additional packages for people living in rural Ireland. No, no I'd have to disagree. And um, there's a couple what? of interesting strands there, and I'll try and touch a few of them. So when you say that there's no additional supports for people in rural Ireland, well, first of all, there's no excise duty on home, e on home heating oil. Uh, one of the things, and not to get into it in too much detail, but what, is, we, what we've done, there's no excise duty. 84.4. I think there is. There is 84. There's 84. There's no excise duty. There's no excise I'm sorry, just, no to be, excise just to be very clear, there's, there's Absolutely okay. no excise duty, and with all due respect to you, perhaps you're also your briefing is wrong, but there isn't, and it could be clarified a after there tonight. Yeah. And we have an expert here beside to confirm it. You may say there is, there but is. there isn't, and we can fact check it afterwards till the cows come home. But there so is you're no saying you cannot duty. do anything with excise duty? Not on home heating. There's no excise duty on home heating. All there are other taxes, but no, not not uh, excise duty, which is why there was no relief for the price of home heating oil today. No, I, I, it's nice to have someone who can, as an expert, yeah. to back it up. And okay, that's no disrespect to you, Rose, no, it's just no, the point no, that I'm right, making. But, but to, to go back the to the original... Okay, so so but on to other, the other taxes yeah, that so are on home heating so oil. So just for example there, when we're talking about uh, heating homes in rural Ireland, as you mentioned earlier, I'm the Climate Action spokesperson. So just a number of weeks ago, we introduced, and I won't get into too much detail, but we introduced one of the most ambitious retrofit programmes imaginable, which is already starting now, this month. So people and what can't we're, afford yeah, to retrofit actually, at the moment. No, no, no. They can't afford so, to so, fill their cars. No, so just one second, Claire. What we're actually doing there with the very first grant we're providing, we are providing a 100% free energy upgrade to those who are most vulnerable of fuel poverty in this country. Those who are on the lowest incomes in Ireland. Well, there's not a two years. for a warmer home scheme. Rose, I'm sorry, you're, well, you're, you're conflating two issues. No. And, I, and I didn't interrupt there, you, and if I could just yeah. finish my point as well. There, there we are talking out about a brand new retrofit scheme which is opened up this month. Suppliers are getting into the market and they're putting in together new applications. Okay, so what what's you're the talking turnaround about is, on that, John? Do you know application. what the turnaround is on that? Again, to get into a bit of detail, if, if that's all right, the turnaround time on retrofitting really depends on the type of job that you want to right, get done. Okay. So but for an immediate aid now for people, while it's still really cold yeah, that, outside, we've got orange weather alerts, you know, and people are looking to heat their home, they're seeing the bills coming through. And right now, with everything that's happening, the idea that there might be a little more relief for homeowners is something that, that, that may be again, expected. Yeah, no? Again, a, a very fair question. And again, I'd point you to the absolutely substantial cost of living packages that we introduced just two weeks ago of 550 million. And what that is, is huge increases in social welfare, huge increases in the fuel allowance, reductions, I, reductions yeah. in Listen, it as well. I want, so there, I there's a wide aspect of what I want to let, want to let Rose in here. Yeah, you, you've had Look, lots of time. Uh, Kira, we're in an emergency situation emergent right across the country. We know that two thirds of, uh, of, of homes in rural Ireland are, are dependent on home e e eating oil. There is things that we could do in terms of VAT reductions there and, and other reductions. People are really, really to the pin of their collar. There is a waiting list for the warmer home scheme. It's in Mayo, scheme it's two, in Mayo, it's, it's two years. In, in Mayo, it's a two year waiting list. It is going to take time. We don't have the labour to start with to be able to do this retrofitting. Absolutely, we welcome it. But right disagree. here, right now, people are suffering from fuel poverty mm. and the government are dragging its feet again. They've had months to do something yeah. about this and they have, even from Europe, the messages come up from Europe is saying we're in an emergency, we need I mean, flexibility. It's so, it's so, Sorry, we need a, just we need a response. Let Rose, you know? finish your point on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, like the pressure certainly is on to do something about it and, and, and I, I'm just wondering on the issue, uh, even though Pascal Donoghue had said, like he said a few weeks ago there would be no mini budget, we weren't foreseeing a change to this excise duty and that has come about. And so, I mean, c will the government acknowledge that maybe more does need to be done um, with regard to, to VAT? We know that we pay more for fuel on this island than in many countries around Europe. Well, uh, you know, from, from what we're hearing, there can't, much can't be done in excise because we're, we're, we're being told the taxes are so heavy. On the other hand, that this, 
suppliers aren't making money out of it. But I worked in Leinster House um, during the economic crash throughout, and every week Brian Lenehan would would um, stand up and tell us something wasn't possible, like cutting the cutting the pensions of civil servants, cutting their wages. We were we were cited on pensions that property rights prevented the government from cutting the cutting the, their pensions. It was done a few months later. We were told the banks couldn't be bailed out to the extent that they were. If we are, as, me, as Micheál Martin told the Fianna Fáil parliamentary party today, in, in a state of war in Europe, which we clearly are, um, we've just gone through a pandemic. That's two of the four horsemen of the, pan, of the apocalypse down. Death and conquest are the other two. So the government will repeatedly say this is not possible. But something will have to be done, for instance, on prices. If this can't be done through taxes, uh, Micheál Martin gave some hints today that, um, th that Europe is preparing a toolbox. That might mean something on VAT. We need we European say-so say on, on VAT cuts. We need European say-so on, 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 some, on some agriculture measures so as we're well. Wait, we're so we're waiting for a European I green think, light think, on many of I these issues. Something will happen in the next few okay. weeks.